Here's how to fix a leak in a coolant overflow tank. This is a Ford Focus. So you can see the tank has gotten old and brittle and there's cracks here and here. The water's coming out right here at the mounting bracket. Um, probably be smart to replace the whole tank because it's 15 years old and brittle, but this is the cheap way rather than the smart way. The good thing about it being an overflow tank is you're not gonna overheat if your overflow tank leaks because you still got water in the radiator. So what I'm gonna use is a little bit of red instant gasket sealer. Make sure that the temperature range is higher than what the water is going to be. So the water is going to be uh, probably under 220 degrees, let's say. And this one is up to 650 degrees. So that, that'll be plenty fine. So I'm just going to wire brush it to rough it up a little bit so that this stuff will stick. And then put a bunch of this stuff on it and wait 24 hours and put it back together. Obviously, while you're doing it, you don't want any water to be leaking out of the hole. So I've got it popped loose and leaned up so that there's no water on the actual holes. I've washed the grease off of it. I'm going to wire brush it and then glue this stuff on. When I'm doing the wire brush work, it doesn't take much to scuff up the plastic. You could do sandpaper too, but I'm going to do it in a number of different directions. So there's not just lines going one way, there's lines going sideways, up and down, all around, just to give it more, more opportunities for the gasket material to stick to it. All right, so I've brushed it. Now I'm just going to put this um, high temp gasket sealant on here. I'll put a link in the description to exactly what kind of gasket sealant stuff I'm using. I'm going to use a lot of it. It's also worth noting that there is no pressure in the tank. Or not significant pressure. There's heat, but there's not a lot of pressure. So if it was an application where there was a lot of pressure, I might cut up a beer can and stick it on here to give it a little bit of something to push against it. Like I said, the smart guy would just buy a new tank. But I am not the smart guy. There you go, it's pretty ugly, but nobody's gonna see it because it's gonna be up against the side of the car. So now we uh, give it 24 hours to dry and then we put it back together and see if anything leaks out. Now to find the leak, what I did was, you know, obviously put water in it and then move the tank around and see exactly where the water was coming out. So you don't want to assume that there's only one hole. You want to move water around and look around the whole tank for any other leaks. In this case, it was just the one place. All right, we got it filled up, got the car all warmed up, and no leaky, so that worked. All right, the gasket material works, but on, on second thought, I think maybe I should have used this amazing goop made by the people who make shoe goo. It's a little bit tougher and thicker and stronger, especially on something like this that has to support a load. So if I did it again, I would do it with this, but it does work either way. 